This video will contain massive spoilers for the season finale in the whole show of Obi-Wan Kenobi on Disney Plus. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it and come back. What's up guys? We have made it to my showcase of Obi-Wan Kenobi on Disney Plus. We have almost 30 characters to show you today. So without further ado let's get started and hit that like button subscribe you know the drill but yeah let's get into this so our first figure is the grand inquisitor i used a black torso black arms dark gray hands this batman cape piece from of course batman the legs from Emperor Palpatine, the torso chest plate piece from Batman to give him that nice shoulder look, and I gave him Voldemort's head, and I think he turned out pretty good, and since I didn't have any Inquisitor lightsabers, I just used a dark gray lightsaber, put two saber pieces on there, and you got yourself a Grand Inquisitor. Next up, we have Reva. I used the legs from Kylo Ren, the torso flipped around from Thor, black arms, black hands, the shoulder piece from Taser from the Avengers Tower set. I used the head from Kayla Watts in this long black hair from Monica from the Friends Central Perk set. I think it was, and I used the dark gray lightsaber piece, and then the red poles to make your finishing touches on Reva. So here is the fifth brother. I used just this black torso, you can use any one. I used this shoulder piece from General Zod, the head from Ebony Maul, black arms, black hands, in this black cape that it's just a hard cape and i think it looks very nice for the fifth brother next up we have obi-wan kenobi i use the legs are just dark brown legs i use the arms as you can tell are just light blue arms i use the torso torso from rachel from the friend central perk set but you can use any torso because it's not gonna matter i put some tan hands on there the head from obi-wan from the duel on mustafar or the general grievous ship and i put some star ward hair on there to finish out obi-wan in his work outfit oh and also i forgot the poncho is from luke to give him that nice poncho look Next up, we have Uncle Owen. I used some dark brown legs, the torso from Old Man Kenobi, tan, uh, tan hands, tan arms, the head from Bucky. Oh, I already said. Never mind. I used the hair from Mutt Williams, or it's come on several, several places, and that is Owen. Next up, we have Queen Organa and Bale Organa. For the Queen Organa, I used the legs from the build a minifigure section at the Lego store, the hair from Shuri, the torso flipped around from Luke Skywalker, white arms, um, dark tan hands, the head from, I think it was Catwoman from the batman movie the and i that's all i used for her i used well for bail organa i used the dark gray legs the torso flipped around from thor from ragnarok gunmetal gray arms those dark nougat hands black cape the head from tasu leech and then this hair piece comes on many figures. 
I got it in, like, a Lego City set. And, yeah, that's where you can get pieces to make those guys. Next up, we have Young Leia. I used the torso, arms, and hands from Han Solo. Black, short legs. The head and hair from Hermione. And that's how you build her. A really simple custom, but I think it looks pretty good. And next up, we have the Man the Legend C-3PO. And you can use any C-3PO. I recommend using the one from the Trash Compactor or Luke's Land Speeder with the arm printing. But I just use the one from Luke's Land Speeder. Just looks good in my opinion. And can't change perfection. Next, we have Kenobi from episode 2 of the show. I used the torso from Pilot Anakin with the robes and the, like, belt there. Black arms, tan hands, the legs from Emperor Palpatine, the head from Kenobi from the sets that came out last year, I think it was, with, um... The duel on Mustafar and the General Grievous ship. And I put the headpiece on there. I'd recommend using the one from Ember Palpatine. But I do not have that one. So we have to use this one from Old Ben Kenobi. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Pretty interesting. Next up we have Haja Estuary. I used the legs. They are from the camper minifigure from the mini collectible minifigure series. The torso is from Anakin from the Duel on Mustafar. You can see it has those marks there from the sand. I use black arms, dark tan hands. The head, I do not know where it came from. The hair from Bruce Banner around Haja's tree out. Next up, we have Leia in her poncho outfit. I used the whole Leia figure we uh, made earlier in this showcase, like about five minutes ago. And then I just put this poncho on there from Luke because she was wearing like a poncho piece. So I just wanted to make her that poncho piece she wore in episode 2. Next up, we have Darth Vader to start out episode 3 of Kenobi. I used the whole Darth Vader figure from, like, any set. I got mine from, what was it, um, the Darth Vader transformation. I have the arms on there from Black Widow. To give him that nice printing detailing on the side there with the gunmetal ray printing and stuff like that. And I think it looks really good for Darth Vader. Next up we have Tawa. I use the legs and torso from the guy from... St I don't remember his name but I just used him for a piece. Um, I used them for the head on someone I just did, but, oh, it was Tassu Leech. Tassu Leech is torso and legs there. I used some dark red arms, tan hands, the head from Catwoman, and the hair from Wonder Woman to round out that great look. Next up, we have Ned B. I used the legs from Wolverine, the black belt, the torso flipped around from Giant Man, yellow arms, black hands, this white helmet thing, like the astronaut helmet, and I used the head from the owl figures from the one of the Batman sets. Next up, we have the fourth sister. I used black arms. Black hands, black legs, the torso from an Outrider flipped around, the head from a collectible minifigure series. 
I don't know if she it has a face on the back, but if it no no face on the back, but this character was like a robot. It was like a Tony Stark kind of way, and I used the helmet from an aim agent to round the fourth sister out. Next up, we have Freck. I used black hands. The head was a hard choice to make because the head I actually think would work is what one of the YouTubers used, one of the other Lego YouTubers used. Which is the head from the Underminer. I have that head, but I cannot find it in my collection right now. So I use the head from the Gringotts Goblin. And then I use the legs, torso, and arms from Grief Karga. Which I think looks really good. Next up, we have Roken. I use black legs, the torso, and arms from a Explorer from Lego City. So, the hands and head from T'Challa Star Award, the hair from Finn to round out Roken, who was a pretty neat character, if I do say so myself. Next, we have Obi-Wan from his plan to rescue Leia. I used the legs, torso, and arms from Mace Windu, I think looked pretty well there. I used some tan hands, the head from Obi-Wan Kenobi from the sets I've said multiple times in this video, and the hair from Star Wars to round out Kenobi. Next up we have Sully the pilot. I used black legs, black hands, the torso and arms from a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure. I don't know, like, where it came from. I just found it. And, yeah. I used the head. You can use any head from a Resistance pilot. I just used the one I had in my collection, which is fun, from Snap Wexley from that one set. And I used the head from Jenny Weasley. It doesn't matter what head you use it, to build this figure. Next up, we have the flashback scene. I used, for Obi-Wan, I used the torso, arms, hands, head, and hair all from the Kenobi finger from a long time ago. You can see, like, the old kind of head there. And I think it, I think it fit in cool because it's a nostalgic piece there. And this is a nostalgic scene, so... Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I used the legs from a Tuscan Raider to give him some printing. I used the torso, arms, hands, and legs from Anakin to give Anakin, obviously, those nice robes there. I used the head from Anakin from the Duan Mustafar. And then this hair from... It's come on Anakin from the, um, episode 2 sets, it's come on Lego City sets, it's come on multiple things, and then I just put two blue lightsabers in their hands for dueling. Next up, we have Anakin. You can see there, let me move the lightsaber a little bit. I use the blue lightsaber, the torso, arms, hands, legs. And head from the Duan Mustafar Anakin, the headpiece from Obi Old Obi Wan, and then the cape. This hard plat, this hard cape piece came on one of the Mandalorian figures. Next up, we we have Riva. The version of her I'm showing you is the scenes from. The final episode when she is going around Tatooine looking for Owen Wars. And yeah. So I use the head from the girl from Lightyear. Don't remember her name. I use the cape from a Mandalorian. A, the headpiece from Obi-Wan. 
The torso flipped around from Thor, black arms, black hands, and the legs from Kylo Ren to round her out. And I think she turned out pretty good, if you ask me. Next up, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi from the final uh, episode. I use the torso and legs from Anakin from the Mustafar one, dark tan arms, tan hands, the head from Obi-Wan, and the hair from Star Wars to round Obi-Wan up. Next up, we have Aunt Beru, who we finally get a better look at in this episode. I use the legs, are just bluish gray legs. I do not know where they're from. I'm sure you can get them on many figures. Sorry, my camera's acting up here. I use the torso, since she had on that gray kind of jacket, I use the torso from... Harry Potter, wait, no, the character from Jurassic World that came in that one set with the dinosaur chase scene, I don't know, gray arms, tan hands, the head from Black Widow, and then the hair from General, one of the generals from Star Wars, I do not know which one it is, but... That is how you build Aunt Beru. Next up, we have young Luke Skywalker. I use tan legs in short legs. I use the head from Luke Skywalker, since of course it's Luke Skywalker. I use the hair piece there from Luke Skywalker from one of the like keychain set, not keychain, like one of the uh magnet sets i'm pretty sure or like you know the figures that came with the watch when you like the kitty watches like you could get a watch and there'd be a lego figure is there it, it was like yeah that kind of figure but i don't know where the where you would have got it from i just had it in my collection so i used it I used the torso from Yoda, and that is Luke Skywalker. So, I couldn't build a Darth Vader figure battle damaged. I didn't know, like, how to do it. I didn't have the pieces that would work for it. And so, here's just Darth Vader in all his glory once again. It was pretty cool to see the Emperor again. I used the legs from Darth Maul, the torso... And arms from the Deathly people from Harry Potter. I used the hands and head from Emperor Palpatine. A black hood there. And then this Harry Potter cape with the stars on it. Inside you can see. But you can just use a black cape. I just used a lot of black capes. So I wanted to change it up, you know. And yeah, that is Emperor. Next up, we have our final version of Kenobi, which is the version from the end of the episode 6 finale, which was him walking around, and this is where Qui-Gon showed up. Spoilers, but, you know, we were gonna get to that anyway, so. Yeah, but here's how to build him. I used the head from Obi-Wan from Mustafar, I used the Star Wars hair, the torso, arms, and hands from old Obi-Wan, from, you know, the Star Wars sets. I got mine from the Death Star Gunner set, with the one that came with this hood piece, you know, that we used for Reva. And the legs I used are from Obi-Wan, from the Mustafar set. Next up, we have Qui-Gon, and you guys might be like, whoa, whoa, who is this dude? Well, I lost my Qui-Gon figure. I found him again, so you guys may be like, why didn't you use him still? Well, here to find out that the printing on his face messed up super bad. The ponytail piece was messed up. 
So we had to scratch all that and start over and make a Qui-Gon Jinn. So I used the hair from Ray. I used the, I mean, yeah, the hair from Ray, the head from Tony Stark, the torso, arms, and hands from the Mandalorian. I used the legs from Ray. And I used this cape. It's just a dark, um, brown cape piece, which is from, ah, dropped it, which is from Star Wars, the Mandalorian Battle Pack. Is it the best figure? No. Does it get us by with the showcase? That's up to your opinion, but if you had the regular Qui-Gon, just use the regular Qui-Gon. And guys, that will end my showcase on Obi-Wan Kenobi. I know I didn't do the inv individual episodes. I just wanted to do a full showcase instead of making videos every week. So, yeah, that is our showcase for Kenobi. Really great s series so far. Um... I think it's my favorite Disney Plus series. Yes, with the Marvel s series. Moon Knight was a pretty good one. Falcon and Winter Soldier's up there, but I think it's between this and the Book of Boba Fett. Both were pretty awesome, but yeah. Let me know what your favorite Disney Plus show is in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. And don't forget, I have the high ground.